So this is our Biorb 30. Can't see any of the fish now. But this has been going for about eight months. These are the guppies. That's Mick there. Oliver, Brucey, and Gilbert and George. Uh, this is Harold down here. He's quite friendly. He's a dwarf gourami. There he is. There's Madge, his partner. She doesn't seem to be that requiting in his advances. And this is Billy, the tetra, solitary tetra. And there is also a cleaner fish in there. <coughs> but it's hiding at the moment. It doesn't do very much. So we've got this wood here covered in algae now. And that sometimes attracts the algae eater. Um, but can't see him at the moment. But yeah, the rest of the fish are out. We're thinking of getting a shrimp or two. I don't know if that's a particularly good idea. And then these plants which seem to keep the fish happy. So I'll give them a few hickory micro pellets. See what they make of that. Billy goes around like Pac-Man, hoovering them all up. Hmm. Harold's getting into the action there. They actually, these pellets float on the surface until dislodged. And the idea is they don't go down into the substrate down here and mess up the filtration by adding too much ammonia and breakdown products. But the fish are too greedy and they knock them all off at once and then they all fall down into the substrate and they don't pick them all up. So every week we tend to hoover it out with the siphon. And it seems it seems to be okay. We used to get blooms after every water change, but that seems to have subsided now. So all in all, this biome has been quite a good introduction into tropical fish keeping. I know they get a bad press from some people, but it seems to have gone pretty well. So in total, there's nine fish in there. We did have 11 at one point because uh, we had three of the sucker fish uh, but two of them completely vanished and we don't know why we assume some foul play happened because uh, a couple of them used to try and clamp onto the side of Harold and he, he didn't take very kindly to that I'll just give them some pizzas see what they make to these, it's their favourite food there's a pizza. So Harold, Harold loves those, but he can't normally get them through the meniscus. He needs the guppies to pull them through. So there we go. And now he's going to grab. And he's the only fish that can eat these pizzas in one go. Go on, Harold. What's he doing? I'll have to go back for it. Oh, 
but no, he's not, not letting Madge have any of it. Although they quite often get quite frisky immediately after having pizza. I don't know if it's the effect of the Italian food or what, but it does seem to get them in the mood for love. Yeah, he's got it. So that's it, that's our biob. Thanks for watching.